Instead of taking four, they took f***ing five teeth. That's like a lawsuit. No, they call it buy four, get one. So they took the front one. <laughs> guys, guys, this is me like 30 minutes before I get my four wisdom teeth pulled. I got my little iPad board. I'm going to be laying here for the next two to three days. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay down it, and I've already come to terms with this. I've come to terms with this. I'm gonna be watching a lot of Netflix, all right? I thought I was gonna be working. Then I talked to everyone in my life that um, had wisdom teeth surgery, and they're like, no, you're gonna be out for like a good 24 hours at least. Probably 48 because you're so dramatic. I'm gonna be watching a lot of Netflix today. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat my soft foods. I'm gonna eat mashed potatoes. I'm gonna order some ice cream, some freaking yogurt, and I'm gonna watch Netflix all day. I feel like I've been on a K-drama hype for the past few months, maybe like a year, I've been kind of dipping my toes, and then the glory, it messed with me. I have been Googling K-dramas like the glory, <laughs> and not all the K-dramas that are on Netflix are available for me to watch, which you're like, what does that mean? If you are in the US, you only have a certain selection of K-dramas that you can watch that are available on Netflix, but if you use ExpressVPN, my little secret weapon, well, you need to use it for other things too, but with ExpressVPN, I can change my location, and with the same Netflix login, the same Netflix everything, I gain access to new and more shows and movies Movies, which is perfect for wisdom teeth removal day. Here are some of my favorite K-dramas that you can binge. If you connect to France, you can watch Descendants of the Sun, so good. Connect to the UK, you can now watch The Pet House. If you connect to Singapore Marina Bay, you can watch Chidi Sun. And ExpressVPN is super fast. I never have to worry about buffering or uh, have a problem with streaming speeds. But probably the main reason I can't live without ExpressVPN is because I'm scared. I'm scared of the world. There are so many wild people out there there doing some crazy things especially online we've seen it we've talked about it and using the internet without a VPN is like staying signed on to your social media accounts on a public computer imagine you go to the library you log in to your Instagram and then you walk away mm -hmm. That's gonna stress me out. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, nobody can snoop through what you're searching, who you're talking to, and this is super important whenever you're connected to an unencrypted Wi-Fi network. So I'm talking airports, hotels, coffee shops. Honestly, even when you're at home, you're at risk without a VPN. Because a hacker connected to the same unencrypted Wi-Fi network, they can steal your personal information with only basic knowledge. They can gain access to your passwords, your financial financial details, even emails. ExpressVPN protects you by encrypting your network data. So trust me, in the name of internet safety, in the name of peace of mind, in the name of K-dramas, you need ExpressVPN. So make sure to find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free at expressvpn.com slash mango. That's expressvpn.com slash mango to find out how you can get ExpressVPN for free for three months. Insanity. And thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. And um, I don't want to get into it. Stephanie's so hungry. And she's saying it smells like seafood oil. This is 10 minutes before she's getting her teeth pulled out. <laughs> Smile while you can. Laugh while you can. Wait, do I get to watch your teeth getting pulled out? I want to see the... <laughs> We just got out and she is so weird. <laughs> what? I can go home. You should go home? <laughs> Why are you giggly? I was so weird. It's so hard. So they put laughing gas on you? Yeah. It just makes you laugh nonstop. Oh, so cool. So cool? Oh, oh. Does it hurt not? Oh. It doesn't hurt. Then why are you screaming? Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Hello? Hi. Are you fun? I can't fall down. What? Stephanie, you look like a trip-hop. <laughs> Thank you. Did they give you medicine? They oh, give her laughing gas. <laughs> it was so crazy. Uh -huh. I felt like I was flowing and then they were like looking at me. And I was laying there and they're like doing this inside my mouth. I have a dude. 
What happens if I spank a nurse? What happens if you spank a nurse? I think about it. <laughs> what? Why would you think that? Because it's good. I'm right next to me. Now they like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> what the <laughs> So Stephanie ordered one of those ice packs that you wrap around your head from Amazon last night, but it hasn't arrived yet. So this is 30 minutes after the surgery. She's improvising very, very quickly. We have a hoodie with two ice packs, and then she tied a little Timu hair clip on top, and she's Gucci now. Got a soup, mashed potato, a green mush, a brown mush. This is gonna take me two hours to drink. My tongue uh -huh. feels like the size of like the world's largest. You can eat mashed potato like that. Mm. So you can't chew. You can only swallow. I was gonna say something really out of pocket. Mashed Tell potato us. is so hard. This is really hard. That shit is so salty. Uh, this really is so good. It's from the butcher's daughter. You wanna try the yogurt? Oh yeah. This yogurt is very fancy. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. What? I forgot to tell them that I'm having a piece of me removed from inside of my body. Your mom? My mother. A few moments later. I called my mom to tell her that I had teeth removed and she was at golf. And she did not seem to care at all. She basically was like, oh, <laughs> you know how I should call her? I should call your sister. Oh, I'm gonna tell her that they accidentally took an extra tooth. What? Really? Hello? Hi. Guys, they accidentally took another tooth. What? Instead of taking four, they took f***ing five teeth. That's like a, like a lawsuit. No, this is not a lawsuit. That, it, they call it buy four, get one. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That's what they said. Buy four, get one. <laughs> so they took the front one. <laughs> they, took, they took her money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me these painkillers that are incredible. I got the laughing gas. Bro, it was weird because I'm so numb on the inside. Two of them, hands in my mouth. But I don't feel anything inside my mouth. So it's very, like, the disconnect in my brain was bizarre. I'm like, what's going on? When did you find out you need to get your wisdom teeth pulled? I found out yesterday. I went today. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, how many did you pull? They pulled a five. At first, we thought it was just four, and then they ended up pulling five. And they call it buy four, get one. Holy shit. As much as I think I want to be, I'm not really the <laughs> biggest. Honey. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm an innovator. As much as I think that I'm a Netflix and chill girl, I really like to keep busy. It's just something I enjoy. I do some laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, now is my time. Kind of clean up and do my shit because I can't focus on work right now. Here's what happened, guys. I don't know if it was the drugs. I think so. But I was on a kick. I'm over here folding the laundry. I'm like, get your nasty hands away from the laundry. You don't even know what you're doing. I'm gonna do the laundry. Mm -hmm. I'm over here wiping down the kitchen counters and I'm feeling so good. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna post a video today. I go on YouTube, I see videos have any tip to top post. I'm hiding some comments. And then, um, I don't know why, I was like, you know what, let me reset my cookies. 
Let me reset my muffins and cookies. These muffins and cookies can't get me. I'm literally in like the cleaning mindset. I'm just doing a detox of the apartment. And then I reset the cookies, I get logged out of YouTube. Why is that a big deal, Stephanie? Because my amazing genius butt was like, I want the highest security YouTube channel ever. So I made my fiance get me one of those like keys. You know how sometimes you can do like a two-step verification on your phone or your email? This is crazy. You can't log in without this key. Guess who left the key at home in Atlanta? Guess who can't upload a video until we go home to Atlanta, which was supposed to be next week. But now, with this face, it's tomorrow. Oh my god, we're gonna look so scary on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta wear a mask or something. I need to wear like two masks. Like wow, well, that's cheap. Wow, <laughs> on the right G. I'm so tired. I can't even cry. But this situation is ridiculous. So, talk with me to go back home to Atlanta. He has to call the freaking Delta to see if we can even change our flight. <laughs> I don't know why we can't just have one easy day, yeah? <laughs> you tell me. Not a single month goes by without some kind of medical mystery. Ever since I started dating Stephanie. There's just not a single month that's ever gone by without some medical mystery. But Stephanie's always up to something. <laughs> that's a stocking? What do you put your stocking on your head? Yeah. That's resourceful. Now I gotta go call my mom to tell her we're coming home. And I gotta start packing. I actually have to bring some stuff back from here to take to Korea. Oh, I gotta do laundry. I gotta do laundry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Go lay down. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> It's 7 in the morning. Stephanie slept like this all night. <laughs> Is your face big? It's the same. It feels bigger. Let me see. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Scramble egg. Korean sorontang. I'm so cute. I'm gonna take a selfie. <laughs> I gotta start packing now. This motherfucker is saying my cheeks are coming in handy because I don't look swollen. He says you look so normal. <laughs> you look slimmer, I <laughs> Look at him spinning my soup into a cup. He's been making me the bombest. I haven't used that word in a while. Scrambled eggs. I don't even like scrambled eggs, but these scrambled eggs are so freaking good. This is my meal before I get on a plane. I have to put my Invisalign back in <laughs> before I go to the airport. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take some crazy pain meds. Especially at the airport, I don't wanna be suffering. So I might take the crazy pain meds. I'm eating ice cream. The Van Leeuwen, Leeuwen. How do you feel day one? Day one worse? Got worse or better or? Better, but I have intense anxiety about getting a dry socket. Dry socket, what is dry socket? Right now there's a hole. I got four toes in my mouth. Uh -huh. When the natural process is, blood pools in that hole and it protects all the nerve endings from being exposed because there's so much blood on top. If you suck, spit, or do any crazy things, mm -hmm. that blood comes out and your nerve endings are just out and about. And it's not just your teeth. They said it goes all the way up to your nose and your head. Like you're gonna be in excruciating pain. Some people said it was the worst pain they've ever felt in their entire lives. These are mashed potatoes. Added some shredded sheets to make it yummier. I'm attempting to do some rice with my soup this time. Cause he said I could do noodles. Mm -hmm. How is it? Not bad. I'm gonna eat my lunch. And you know what this f***er does? Who's f***er? Me? <laughs> Okay, I can't even shit talk to this. He has been taking really good care of me. But he's like, I'm so sorry, babe. Because someone's coming over in 10 minutes. I can't live like this. I'm like, what's going on in 10 minutes? I see someone walk in. Proceeds to give him my hair cut right here. <laughs> I got prepped for the photo shoot in Korea, honey. Why did you get a haircut in Korea? Oh. Yeah. Oh, why didn't you tell me? I should have done that. Go to one of those uh, famous... Yeah, the, the person who does BTS is there. If you even go to like a celebrity hair artist in Korea, they charge like pretty reasonable prices. You go to like a celebrity hairstylist in the US, yeah. 
I saw TikToks of people going to like BTS's hairstylist and stuff. And he charges like fifty dollars a cut, which is expensive. No way. But it's affordable what? considering he's like a That's celebrity. So affordable. So I can look like BTS for fifty dollars? I don't think so. <laughs> By the way. If you guys are in New York, I'm trying to get some oral surgery done. There's a, I was about to say a dude. A doctor called Dr. Dolman. Pretty good. Pretty impressed. Let me tell you why I'm impressed. My sister has a crazy high pain tolerance. And she said when she got her wisdom teeth out, it was unimaginable pain. She said the bleeding didn't stop for so long. But my bleeding stopped like yesterday. She said for a day she was like bleeding. And so she, I was telling her that's so weird. Like I, like my gauze is coming out clean, pretty clean. And she said, oh, like maybe you just have a really good surgeon because mine was horrendous. So <laughs> if you guys are in New York, check out Dr. Dolman. He was actually a referral from my orthodontist who does my Invisalign. Can Stephanie show you guys what she's eating? I'm going to show you what I'm eating. I hate you. We got some side dishes. We got this delicious broth with the meat. We got some yummy shabu meat, some wahia mushroom, and this beautiful display of Why array of sauces. Like a five star feast right now. Why are you at a barbecue restaurant? Let's get some meat, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Oh my god. Wow. No, you know what? Oh my god, so good. Wow, it's like so tender to me. Okay, okay, I get it. I mean, this is my first time putting Invisalign in almost 24 hours since I had my wisdom teeth taken out. Honey, for someone who's went through a major surgery, you're looking good. Oh yeah, so I was telling Stephanie last night. You know those people with the necklace? Oh my god, They yes. put like a wolf tee or something? Okay. What if I just put your teeth into like a necklace and wear it around? Ah! It's pretty gross, honey. I think you need to brush your teeth more. We're home. She said I'm getting red. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, there's a mark. Oh my god. What is that? I need a bug bite. It's kind of itchy now that I touch it. You know how poofy my cheeks are. Whoa, that's weird. Day two. You look completely normal. Let me see your face. See, it's crazy. You look freaking normal. What is going on? I'm telling you guys, go to Dr. Dolman. You know what else is crazy? I was Googling what to do after tooth extraction, and his instructions and the instructions on Google aren't matching. So he said only ice compress 24 hours. After that, no more ice. He said do heat instead. Online was like, do it the whole time till day three, day four. Mm -hmm. Other things online were like, don't brush your teeth for three days but he was like you can brush your teeth the day after i don't know i feel like this guy knows what he's talking about yeah you look <laughs> slimmer did you and he said the swelling will be the worst day too yeah nothing he also looked inside my mouth and mm -hmm. my wound seemed to be healing very yeah well. there's it's so clean in there this is banana, mashed banana mashed this is uh kuguma, korean sweet potato starbucks egg white bites. egg white bites i saw people on tiktok eating the shit out of these here are some uh which is my some, mom made right some here. egg egg and some Pechuku. it's Pechuku. cabbage soup cabbage soup yes USA say zero out of ten where are you at in terms of your physical condition it's a little hard to eat i'm being extra cautious to not get a dry socket but other than that this morning i woke up tippy tapping i'm working i got the mental clarity i used to the only thing is Cleaning my teeth is like a full-time job. I'm gonna brush my Invisalign, brush my teeth, floss so carefully, takes double the time. I'm gonna do salt water rinses. Full-time job, bitch. Full-time job. But you're basically back to normal. Yes, I am. <laughs> good morning, good morning. It's day three. Day number Post three. wisdom surgery. And she looks completely normal now. Can I, I do a cheek, I know, cheek squeeze check? Please be gentle. Oh, okay. It's really weird. It feels like I have two water balloons here. Uh -huh. And every time I touch it, you know when you have a really jam-packed water balloon, it's got that tension? Uh -huh. That's what it feels like. But you look and good. Side, side view. Okay, back view. And I uh, prepped for breakfast. <laughs> mashed sweet potato, mashed banana, and her meds. I look crazy. Here's yeah. how I'm feeling. Cheek it's test. It is currently day four of wisdom tooth removal. How do I look? You look snatched. Okay, this morning he's waking me up and he goes, Hey, you look uh, slimmer than ever. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts when I smile or laugh. I've been smiling and laughing like this. 
<laughs> Every time someone makes me laugh, I go. <laughs> Today is a very special night because I'm trying to film. <laughs> okay, so let's get ready for the day. After every single meal, first of all, why are you eating food inside of the bathroom? That's disgusting, okay? And then every time after a meal, I have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Normally, I do lunch and dinner, but I have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my, my antibiotics. This is a salt water rinse. He brings it up every meal. It's pretty salty. at all guys because I have like the juiciest butt you've ever seen like the moon doesn't even hurt at all like where's my tailbone I don't know it's under like 25 pounds of fat like juicy yeah. fat I filmed a couple videos and I'm feeling good I'm feeling fantastic and Tiffany's over and I was asking her like are there any did you guys know she used to work at a dental office? I was so terrified of a dry socket. I kept calling her. I was like, um, excuse me, am I gonna get a dry socket? Let me tell you how big the pain is. I called my sister and I said I was so scared of a dry socket. And normally she's the type to be like, oh my God, you're scared of that? You're a loser. Um, today she says, oh yeah, I've never had one, but we have patients come in for painkillers for those. And it looks really bad. <laughs> I was so stressed. So basically, if you suck on a straw, if you vape, if you if you do any of those things, I don't vape, but if you do, don't get your wisdom teeth out. You can't vape for like two weeks. But anyway, that blood clot gets sucked out and you just have this hole. I saw videos on TikTok of them irrigating the hole, putting water in there because your soup and your food gets stuck in that hole with all the nerve endings. You guys wanna see the video? You wanna see what I think about every single night when I go to sleep since I had my wisdom teeth taken out? I sleep like this, by the way, because my doctor said for the first two nights, you should sleep 90 degrees so the blood clot doesn't leave. He said 45 degrees. Yeah, it's no. like this. 90 no. degrees like this. I've been doing 90 degrees. It's been like how many days? And I don't think I'm gonna stop until a week because I'm oh, so scared. Okay. This is all I think about all night. Oh, dry socket irrigation. Oh my god, oh my god, you're gonna die. You don't have to pen so excitingly. <laughs> all I think about all night. Ew, what is that? Like just There's food, stuff inside? food and debris gets stuck inside and it, it could- It doesn't hurt? It hurts like a bitch and you could get an infection. Tiffany said my face should get smaller. Is it true? So is I it had, true? like when I came on my wisdom teeth, I was like, I asked doctor, was that true? And doctor's like, no, that's what people are saying. But however, I know a girl, she took seven- She took seven teeth out? Four wisdom teeth and then three more of those big teeth. I saw her face oh. like literally like so skinny and then her face is so small and then I was like doctor is that true though and then they said listen to you no not really Guys, this is an anticlimactic vlog. I genuinely thought that I was gonna look like a chipmunk for a week and I was kind of excited. And I look fine, <laughs> I look normal. I feel like your face got smaller, smaller right? And smaller. That's what I said. Yeah. I should go take out more teeth. <laughs> she said, let me take out five more teeth, doctor. Man, but laughing gas was. Do you know, like, when I was in the dental office, people abuse you know, people ask for laughing gas. You yeah. know, a lot of students, a lot of students study about Chinese kids, they buy tons of that. Using it so much, it causes body to tampon. <gasps> it was all on you. Body what? Paralyzation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then the, the oh. girl, she has to, when she go back to China, she, they had to wheelchair her. Yeah, they did say that you like feel floating and it's kind of hard to control your body It's movements. a party thing. It became wild like a couple years ago. So have you tried that before? No, I didn't. Oh, Stephanie um, loves it. She's no, like, no, 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 no. I I am not a drug abuser. I am actually terrified of drugs. I think that it's so terrifying. Like what you put can alter your brain chemistry. I'm so scared. But I will say, I will say if you're getting your wisdom teeth out and your doctor thinks it's appropriate, it was um, it made it a lot more pleasant. The whole time, I felt like I was floating. I knew I just kept making some weird ass 
noises and I kept thinking to myself I gotta stop making these noises but I couldn't control it so every time I would see they were holding things in their hand I could barely keep my eye focused I'm like looking at it and it's going straight into my mouth but everything inside is so numb so it feels like they're just like digging around Mary Poppins bag in there I'm like that's my mouth and I was having a brain fart moment but I remember every time they would stick something in there I would start to get scared because they're like right here and they got the little flashlight on their head like they're cave exploring or some shit every time they would stick their hand in my mouth I would go <laughs> and I could hear it, and I'm like, why do I sound like that? And then every time they would pull something out, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> And then every time they would put something in my mouth, I'd go, ah! And then it's so funny, because I'm wearing my big ass stomper Ugg boots. I can't really move the rest of my, like I can move, but I felt like I was kind of floating, and then I just, I know that I kept doing this with my feet. So I'm laying there, going, ah! Every two seconds, and my feet, I guess I'm in a good ass mood, okay? Uh -huh. And my feet keep going. <laughs> <laughs> left and the dental assistant asked if I wanted to keep my teeth and I don't know why something about the laughing gas in my head that was the most horrifying question ever right so I went, ah! I, went like this. I like very passionately went ah! like this okay and then she goes okay and then I thought about it and I was like wait that's my teeth so I went okay <sighs> uh, every time she's walking me back to you I just keep going <laughs> and I just remember she was patting me on the back. And then I remember I was sitting there and my oral surgeon is giving him all the directions on what to do, right? And I'm like, stop doing this. I really wanted to stop doing this because I'm just thinking about how stupid I look. But I kept going like this. Yes. <laughs> he kept talking to him and I just kept going. <laughs> so oh. stupid. And then I asked the doctor, is she okay? <laughs> But I will say, this is probably one of my best doctor experiences. So, um, would I recommend? Probably not. Especially if you're a smoker, or if you vape, or you drink alcohol, or you can't live without straws, don't do it. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. But other than that, make sure to check out ExpressVPN. <laughs> Linked in the description. To find out how you can get three months free. Because you really need it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm so scared. Ah. Uh.